the other day, I was at the newest, hottest bar in Amsterdam. Picture a dark setting, cool bass, high heels and lots of glitter. I was there with my best friend and her new lover, and they aren't shy of showing PDA. All fine with me, and no one around us seemed to be bothered by it. At one point, the guy asked me, So Kira, what is it exactly that you want to do with human studies? So I explained that I find it a major concern the way that internet, and particularly internet porn, influences the sexual and social development of children. The guy responded, Yes indeed, these nature films do have a bad impact. With no offense to my friends, I do find it rather odd that in an adult setting like this, it seems to be inappropriate to say the word porn. So my first statement is, we need a sex revolution 2.0, making sex normal. Also have a look at this video and the Make Sex Normal Tumblr page. The adult entertainment industry is one of the most lucrative industries to be in, grossing about 100 billion US dollars a year. So there's no way we can shut it down. And if you can't beat them, join them. What is displayed in porn is a fantasy. It's not necessarily the way people do it at home. Cindy Gallup is spot on by launching the Make Love Not Porn website, inviting normal people to show the world how normal people can have normal sex. Which can be still quite pleasant, with hints of sex everywhere, online, offline, and even on album covers of pianists, isn't it about time that we start talking about sex? Yet when no one talks about sex, or sexual values such as equality, respect, empathy or care, how do kids and inexperienced people know how to have sex or make love? The second statement is fully stolen from Cindy Gallup. Make love, not porn. By making talking about sex normal, by making having sex normal, there's still one other thing that we have to make normal, and that is declining sexual activities. Only with proper education and an open culture can a person make informed decisions about him or herself, about his or her sexuality, sexual desires and needs. Only an informed person can engage in sex with mutual consent. A don't ask, don't tell culture is so wrong I don't even know where to start. But let's just make things simple. Let's make the world of sex equal to a Starbucks. At Starbucks, people say exactly what they want and it's respected. Doll, skinned milk, decaf or even tea. So my last statement is ask and tell. And if you don't know what that means, just have a coffee at Starbucks.